As you've learned by watching the previous videos, if you're using the CoLab system, it's running on the cloud. So there isn't any way that you can directly put files into the location where the Google CoLab notebook is running from. However, by mapping your Google Drive, it is possible to drag and drop files or to save them directly into folders on your local computer that will be accessible from the CoLab notebook. So we're going to take a look at how we can do that. Let's start by running this cell to see what kind of an output we get from the get current working directory function. We can see here that the directory starting from the root is at content. If I click on the file folder here, I could see that it has mapped my Google Drive already. So here is my drive. If I expand that out, here is the data folder where I want to put my file. If we compare the uh, root of this directory to the path that we get when we um, copy the path and paste it in somewhere, we can see that this uh, drive folder here is a subdirectory of the content directory, which is the current working directory for the notebook. So if we try to save something in the current working directory, there's no way that we can look at it from our Google Drive because our Google Drive is a subdirectory of this content folder, which is the current working directory. However, we are able to construct a path like this that will essentially represent the root of our Google Drive. Um, I think this is typically the way that Google, the path that you get when you um, map your Google Drive, unless your Google Drive is named something other than my drive. I think my drive is the default. So we set this string, this is the path down to my drive. And so I'm calling that Google Drive root. The data directory, which is the one that I want to put my file into, is a subdirectory of that. So I've created a variable called working directory, which concatenates this Google Drive path and the uh, data directory string. Then that, so that's what I'm calling my working directory. So if I want to actually uh, access a file that is in that working directory, I can append the file name to the end of the working directory string. And then that's the file path that I will use in the open statement. So let's go ahead and use our text editor here to create a file. I'm going to create a new document. Hello, Google Drive. Exclamation point. And I am going to go ahead and save that file. So if I go to here, here's my Google Drive. Within my Google Drive, here's a data folder. Uh, let's see, I think we're going to call that test.txt. So I will go ahead and save that. If I go to Finder, I look and now I can see that test.txt is indeed in the data folder within my Google Drive. So now if I run this code, I have retrieved the contents of the file. Hello, Google Drive. So the good thing about this is that if you have mapped your uh, Google Drive, and then if you have the Google Drive application installed on your computer so that it is so that you, your local Google Drive folder is automatically syncing with your Google Drive folder in the cloud, that allows you to basically drag and drop files using uh, Finder on Macintosh or using Windows Explorer on Windows to simply drop files into whatever folder you want in your Google Drive. And then if you use a path like this, you are able to directly open those files using Google Colab.